This is my first trip inside the Baron Palace in Cairo. I hope you guys enjoy it. The Hindu Palace or Baron in Pain Palace is about a 40 minute walk away from my flat in Heliopolis, Cairo. So after some mango for breakfast, I got in a 75p Uber to take me there. Located within the suburb of El Matareya, this place was also known as Innu by the ancient Egyptians, On in the Bible, and Heliopolis by the Greeks. Completed in 1907, the Hindu palace was purposely built near the ancient Egyptian Heliopolis temple complex. The building embodies a peculiar mix of different cultures and heritages, combining Islamic architecture with the Bayeux arts, as well as embellishing it all within an Indian Khmer design. Despite being commissioned by Belgian entrepreneur Baron Edouard M. Payne, the building embellishes many Hindu gods and goddesses, conflating them with Mara, a Buddhist antagonist in the story of Buddha. This is most clearly depicted over the entrance, where you can see Buddha meditating in the middle, whilst Mara's daughters attempt to seduce him and bring him out of that meditation. So I'm on the second floor of the Baron Palace. Uh, it was built by the Belgian guy, uh, General Baron Edward M. Payne, who lived from 1852 to 1925. The building deteriorated and was left sort of derelict from the 50s. And uh, then it underwent a huge renovation project that started in 2017 and continued up until 2020. So that's why I haven't been able to visit this palace ever before. I have driven past it throughout my time in, in Egypt. Um, but since being renovated, we can now appreciate the interior of the building, which incorporates those Bayer arts and Islamic architecture influences I mentioned earlier. Baron M. Payne was a wealthy entrepreneur. He was essentially the 1900s version of Elon Musk. Public records show that by 1914, the M. Payne Group controlled over 60 companies in numerous countries, including France, Belgium, the Netherlands, Argentina, Chile, Venezuela, Brazil, the Ottoman Empire, the Russian Empire, Egypt, China, Spain, and the Congo. In total, during a career spanning 50 years, it's rumoured that Edward and Payne founded over 105 companies in 13 countries on four separate continents. Three generations of Impaines lived in the Baron's palace. After the founder, Edouard, his son Jean, who was usually seen cruising the boulevards of Heliopolis in his Rolls Royce Phantom II, resided in the palace. And following Jean's death, his daughters, Jeanne and Hajette, made the palace their home. The building and its contents were then sold in the 1950s, and none of the new owner's plans for developing the palace were realized, and the building eventually deteriorated. But in 1993, the palace was declared a monument, and by 2005, the Ministry of Housing acquired the building, compensating the owners with land in New Cairo, and then entrusted it to the Ministry of Culture, who were responsible for the antiquities at the time. The garden that had withered was re-established and rented out for social gatherings, but the palace remained abandoned and neglected. But between 2017 and 2020, a long-awaited comprehensive restoration was carried out under the supervision of historic Cairo administration and the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities, which made it possible for me to visit today. That concludes my sort of little vlog on the Hindu palace in Cairo. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment with your thoughts and thank you for watching.